Taking him away for his 21st, then he's away with his girlfriend Liv, and then he's away with his girlfriend Liv and his family, aren't you? So, got a few getaways, you excited? So, for his 21st, I basically said to him, Where do you want to No, I said, What do you want? Do you want anything? Right, I'll take you somewhere. And Brad picked Norway. So, what is it about Norway? History, Vikings, culture, sea I said to him, like, What is it? And he said, Like, all of that architecture, like everything. So, we've got a few things that we want to do when we're there. Um, that we've looked at um, if Brad wants to see the fortress there's this museum we want to see we want to go to the botanical gardens Brad also said that the nightlife is meant to be good so he wants to experience that so yeah we're going to have a good four days there and I'm very excited to be going away with him because it's been a while tell myself this every single time every single time I go away I say right the next time I go away I'm gonna pack away before the night before I never do but I'm actually gonna this time because I'm annoyed I've brought no earrings with us I have left lipstick none to be seen and I just feel like I'm not happy with the clothes choice I brought I rushed and you know just you shouldn't rush your pack in so that's the end of it and I nearly lost my passport I had a right mayhem with that but in any way we are in Norway, we're checked in, it's actually boiling and we're going to head out, we're going to go to the botanical gardens first thing I think and we're just going to go and see if we can see, see what landmarks and everything we'll see while we're out there. I'm excited, so you excited Brad? I'll show you Brad's outfit of the day, he's gone for his glasses, he's had his mullet cut as well, give them a show. Ooh, baggy top, Zara jeans, thanks to his live and then the shoes I got him. How are you feeling? 10 out of 10 outfit? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, right. Okay, so we are sitting in the botanical gardens like park area. We've got ourselves to Oslo. Lager beers. This is what they look like. They're quite nice to be fair. It's quite a nice beer. I do like it. So we're just going to sit here have these. It's quite a big garden. It's very different to what I thought. I'm not sure what I kind of expected but it just wasn't this but it's like a massive park with loads of different gardens. So we've been to the Viking one. I think there's a few more down this area but we've decided um, once we've had these and had a little look around we're going to go and get an Uber to a different location in Oslo where there looks like there's a lot. It's near, is it lake? It's on in it? Yeah. It's like near the lake because we're looking at doing a cruise to I think on Friday because I think we've got availability so we're looking at doing that um and it was in that area and it looks like quite lively and stuff so brad's just having a look your phone's not showing you can try and pronounce the name if you think <laughs> what was that sorry genga shiobad that's like the doc i'm sure that pronunciation was perfect yeah. <laughs> and it's called the munch mush museum i think it's like an art gallery there. yeah so we might have a look at that as well um but yeah, it's so sunny. What's your phone saying the temperature is, Brad? You got the weather at? 20. 20. It's literally 20. I've got a dress on. Did not expect this kind of weather because I've bought like trousers and stuff with us. I have got a skirt with us as well. So I should be able to like mix and match the outfits if we get this weather all week. But it is boiling. There's so many people here. We've just came to like a little grassy area where it's a bit more secluded. And we're gonna have what pints and love life, you know. I've been on the grind. Trying to perfect the shot, yeah. Mm -hmm. But David on my back, bro. Trying to see how I act, bro. Friend of me's on the top, bro. Yeah. Listen, man, I ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. I've been on this road way too long. I hope it's worth it. 
Man, this ain't the Shem way. I'm a stuck up in this circus. All this God given talent, what's the purpose? If I was shown another way, would I persist? <laughs> yeah. You ever had to play optimistic, but you're hopeless? Bank so it's the next day. Me and Brad were going to go out last night, but um, we had a few drinks, went back to the room. Brad fell a kip at like seven o'clock. And I thought, I'll let him have an hour because you must be shattered. So then at like eight o'clock, I said, Brad, are we going out? And you went, mm. <laughs> I was like, okay, he needs another hour. So then at nine o'clock, I went, Brad, are we going out? And you went, what time is it? I went nine o'clock. And you went, oh, we'll go tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, right. But it's fine because it was the first night. We hadn't slept the night before. Yeah. So we were shattered. Um, and we did do quite a bit yesterday. We went down to the Munch. Munch? Munch. Munch museum um it wasn't open but we did see like the big statue and then we found this lush what would you call it like a bar chill area thing yeah it was just like a like a open bar wasn't it? open bar but it was really nice so we went there we got pizza there and then on the way back we walked up back went with a few more pubs and bars and it's nice because even the architecture around Norway is really nice to look at and we found like there's a lot of street art and graffiti which like we didn't expect but it's nice to look at i think like now it adds to the vibe of norway yeah. like i've got used to it and now i know more about the culture here like we're in this gorgeous street food place at the minute um and it's dead quirky and unique it's like not just one place either the fact that it's multiple different things like yeah. chinese food english burgers and things yeah like that. Like, it's, loads of it. it's like a food hall with loads of different things so brad's ordered from smash burger and he's getting a burger and i've ordered from um, a place down there called Silk and I'm getting some like bow bun things um, but this is right now a hotel as well so it's perfect just as a like grab and go it was quite expensive yeah so we ordered a burger Brad ordered a burger with chips and a drink and I got my little bun with some chips and a drink and it was 40 quid so 20 quid each so it was quite expensive but I do like the aspect of like it's grab and go we're not sitting down waiting on waiters and stuff because yeah. we do want to like just have more food like that we kind of said um because today our plan is to go to the culture museum so we're going to get an uber after here to the culture museum and then on the way back from there i think it's walking distance so we can see the fortress as well because that was something brad really wanted to do and then tonight we're planning on going out because we've seen loads of good bars we actually found do you know, you know what though it might have worked in our favor because some of the nightclubs weren't open last night on a wednesday night but tonight's a thursday so a thursday might be better night life so it might have worked in our favour yeah. to go out tonight instead. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for today. We've got exciting plans, get lots done. Um, so yeah, that's the plan first thing. Grab our food, have that and get our Uber too. I was really excited about the Culture Museum. So I believe if you're from the North East and you've heard of Beamish, I think it's a Norwegian version of Beamish where it t tells you about the culture and way of living way back when. That's the way I've picked it up online. Could be completely wrong, but I feel like that's what it is and I love stuff like that. Do you? Yeah, yeah. What are you I, just, I don't think it'll be like that. I don't think it'll be like oh, what, did, what did you expect it to be like? I think that obviously it will be about the history and the culture and stuff. I just think you've got it a little bit wrong. Okay, well, explain what you think then. It'll be like more historic of that nature, so it'll go at the back a lot further than like what Beamish would. Yeah, I know that, but like. Do you not think it's the do you not think the museums to portray the way of living way back when? No. no. I think it's a museum. Well we'll find out. So I'm probably wrong because I'm thick as fuck, but anyway. It'll be good regardless, won't yeah. it? So oh and yesterday we were in the botanical gardens. That was quite different to what yeah. I thought. It was, yeah, well, I liked it. It was a huge park with loads of different gardens. So it was like the Viking Garden. Um I can't remember the name of the other ones, but it was like loads of yeah. different sections, wasn't it? Viking Garden was a bit shit, though. it was just Viking plants, yeah. but other than that, it was good. But... To be honest, I feel like that's a very seasonal thing. Yeah. I think in the height of summer, that would be perfect. Because yeah. we've looked at photos online and it looked quite different to what we've seen. Yeah. So I think in height of summer, that would be like amazing. Mm. But it was still lovely, but we got such a sunny day. We sat there and we just had beers and chilled and like, it was really nice to walk around. And I'm glad we've did it because yeah. we would have been curious. Um, so yeah, we, we did quite a lot really on the first day. We went yeah. all about tomorrow actually, there's a cruise thing which we really want to do. Um, Cause you're meant to see some really good like views and stuff. So I think we're going to book that for tomorrow. The thing we're having problems with at the minute is calculating the currency as well. Oh, isn't it? 
the currency is about so... 14 of the knocks for one quid, so like one quid is 14 of that, and we're sort of getting it, but it's just confusing because like, you get like a 600 quid bill and you're trying to work out what it is. Yeah, like just yeah. our on bill there was like 500 and odd for this, and I was like, what's that? <laughs> We worked it out and it's not so bad when you work it out but yeah. it's like god but we've got a rough idea what is it like a hundred knocks is yeah, well it's 14 for a pound that's what i'm doing so 14 of theirs is one quid for us so it's about oh. 140 as a tenner roughly okay 140 is roughly a tenner brad's the mathematical one so he's doing all that stuff i'm just like what we're paying <laughs> but uh, yeah so got a busy day of the day Oh, tomorrow as well. We're going to see what time we get done at the museum and stuff today because there's also a sculpture park which yeah. has got like over 200 yeah. sculptures in it and it's meant to look amazing. Yeah. So we'll either do that this afternoon or if not, we'll do that tomorrow. If that isn't like a gated thing, it might just be a little room or whatever, but I don't know if it is. What? Like if that's not gated, do you reckon you have to go in at a certain time? Like, or do you reckon I it's just open clue. and just go I don't in? know. I mean, obviously, I'd like to go in the daytime so yeah, we can see them. Sunny. That's why you go until, like, oh, yeah. Days. That's what I'm saying. I think after yeah. today we might have time. Yeah, we'll have to check yeah. online, see what time it opens. If it's a ticket, do you mean like a ticketed thing? Mm. Yeah, we need to double check all of that. But it's meant to have like over two. There's a lot of sculptures here, isn't there? Yeah. Like that's something we've noticed. There's a lot, um, which I really like. I love art and sculptures. Mm. But this is like a park and it's meant to have over 200 sculptures in it. So that would be great to look at all the different ones but yeah so as you can see we've got all these plans i really hope we'll get most of them done i think we will we're very yeah. oh just getting ubers as well is public transport like buses and stuff that's still not the same way well, yeah over. the thing is is we, we it takes a lot longer there's a lot we want to see and do yeah it seems like you would think obviously though it would just be easier it would just have the name of the place you go and you can just check on your maps where that is but for example from the train station it just kept saying oslo s that's where mm -hmm. the bus takes in yet like we didn't know where that was so i I asked the woman and she told me what Oslo S is like the city centre, but we never would have worked that out if we don't have like a person there telling me. Oh, I could have Googled it, but I think we just no, didn't. No, I did. I Googled Oslo S and it didn't say it what It didn't, yeah. It wasn't as straightforward as, I mean, we could just take a shift, but we couldn't work it out that easy. But we did get the train here and we'll be able to get the train back because I took a picture of the name of the airport. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. And I think just for ease as well, quickness, there's a lot of tourist attractions you want to see. And the Ubers aren't working out that much. Like the one today to the National Park thing's working out about 12 quid, which is more than reasonable for an Uber. So we're just Ubering at places. Um, but there definitely is public transport if you wanted to come to Norway and do Bikes it that way. And well. Bikes and scooters to hire as well. That is something we potentially were thinking of, but... We just haven't done it as of yet so well, yeah, so we're drinking, we're yeah yesterday we were drinking we nearly were thinking oh well we'll get them scooters back and i went oh i can't i've we've had a drink you're not allowed brad was like well i can go on your back i was like but i've had a drink i'll lose my license like we can't do that I absolutely love the Culture Museum. I was treating the full place like it was a movie set, but honestly, if you're going to Oslo, I would highly recommend you take a visit here. Hi, can I um, deposit some cash, please? <laughs> Hello, Mr. After the museum, we had a walk back up to the main city centre in Oslo. And you know sometimes when you just want to have a boring conversation? Well, that's not the case when I'm with my brother. Honestly, this lad asks the deepest questions. And they, they require a lot of thought. And sometimes I just don't have it in us to want to think about these questions. But I recorded some of them because honestly, they had us howling. And this is how the conversations went for the full 35 minute walk back home. <laughs> So for you then, I'm going to have to change it, so since you're a female, would you rather take it up the bum for a million or give it up the bum with a strap on to an old naked man? But like, it's the same man, it's an old naked man. So if it gives it to you up the bum and you get a million, or you can give it to him with a strap on and you get five grand. Why is that even in your head? Nope. So what was it? One moon-sized chicken, so an intergalactic chicken. Oh, I can fight him? Yeah, no, you have to fight him, or he can fight a billion fly-sized chickens. Or, I'll give you a third option, a hundred rat-sized chickens. Mm. 
a difficult one that. I think the billion but but every one of them that you pick is like bloodlusted towards you, so they all want to kill you as well. Right. So I would probably choose the hundred. Why? So like a middle ground, you can probably kick a few and that, stamp on some. Because you've got two legs to fight off them and you've got your arms. Mm. Whereas with the big massive chicken you would need a big plan. Mm. I'll do the same as you. The middle? Uh, yeah, but think of it, don't underestimate the little ones. I think that's takeable. I'm so not. You, you can kill like a hundred with a spam. I'm not underestimating them. <coughs> How much would it cost for you to get your tits out and then stroke down there? Really? 500,000. I'd do it for. You haven't got it? Well, if I had to get my knob out, I'd do it for 10 grand. 10 grand? If I, if if there was security there, that I wouldn't go to prison doing it. But if I would go to prison, I'd probably go like 100 grand. To run down there? Yeah. This is the street in question. Go on, guys. I had to put up with it. Do you answer it as well? Would you have Superman's powers with half whatever your life expectancy would have been? So, for example, if you lived until night, it means that you would live until 45 now, but you have every power Superman has. But I don't know my life expectancy. No, you still don't know. But it's hot. But I have powers. Superman's powers. So, like, you've got super strength, you can fly, you've got, like, laser eyes, you've got, like, everything. Do you know, like, I, I, I don't want to want a half my life. But think about the amount of lives you could save with them powers. Mm hmm. So would you do it? Yeah. Because you can save so many lives and when you die you would go down in history. Okay. You know what I mean? Like everyone's gonna remember the person who could fly, shoot lasers out, fly, super strength, carry buildings. I suppose right. And I know that they'll have me with a ball and chain. Ish. It was quite a late night. At first we couldn't find anywhere to go and then we ended up finding the last bar we went in actually we quite liked but then the music changed and then we were like oh we don't know this music so we moved on and we didn't find anywhere after that one did we? So we went home, got um, we found a shop, got you got a baguette, I got a pasta and some crisps and we had that, went back to the room and then but more or less just went to bed so we got up the day we've been to get food again we went back to that street food place because it's just easy quick and we like it um brad got his burger again <laughs> and i went for a greek um wrap today we've got two main plans we're going to head to the sculpture park there's over 200 sculptures there and we're going to spend a good few hours there which i'm quite excited for it's like one of norway's main attractions that i was excited for when i seen it and then we're going to do a cruise through the fords today at six o'clock as well so that'll be nice need to book the tickets for that but i think that'll be really nice to do as well because we haven't really did a ticketed like touristy cruisy thing or anything like that so we're going to do this one but we've done a lot like there's a lot that's free here like the botanical gardens um even the sculpture park being free there's like a lot around here you can do that isn't ticketed really yeah. but yeah so that's the plans for today and of course i'll be bringing you along Me and Brad both agreed that this was probably one of the best places in Oslo that we visited. We loved it. It was so fascinating just to see all the sculptures. Now, we hired e-bikes to e-bike around the park because we wanted to get a lot done. And it was also more fun. Give us that bit of adrenaline. But, oh, my God, if you're going to Oslo, I would highly recommend you visit the sculpture park. There's so many fascinating sculptures and it's just a really nice day. You can bring a picnic as well and have it while you're there. And it's just really nice and well worth a visit. So the cruise we wanted to do actually got cancelled, the six o'clock one, because there wasn't enough participants. So we're going to go to a illusion museum. That was the like another thing we fancied doing. So we're going to do that. We're just having a pint because we've got like half an hour at a kill. So I've been on the grind. 
trying to perfect the shot, yeah. Mm -hmm. But David on my back, bro, trying to see how I act, bro. Friend of me's on the top, bro. Yeah. Listen, man, I ain't perfect. I've been on this road way too long, I hope it's worth it. Mm. Yeah. Man, this ain't the Shem way, I'm stuck up in this circus. All this God-given talent, what's the purpose? If I was shown another way, would I persist? <laughs> yeah. You ever had to play optimistic, but you're hopeless? Bank account is up and down, bet you wish that you were brokeless. <laughs> I know. You tried to blow the stress away, but you thought that you should smoke less. At times I sat alone, I thought I could have spoke less. It's all for the bigger reason. Watch the progress. Watch it. And that is a wrap on May's trip. Honestly, we had the best time ever and I can't wait to show you the next trip because June is mine and Sean's big trip together and I'm so beyond excited. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Uh,